I'm going to show you some settings I've been working on practically all freaking day or PPSSPP. Now if you're actually wondering uh, where you can get the ROMs, I found a, an app that's very simple to get your ROMs from. It's called MU ROMs. It's on the uh, Play Store. Uh, and you can download your PSP ROMs from there, but just remember you do have to be able to uh, extract part files because it, it's in zip files and they have to be extracted. There's like two uh, processes to extract your ISO from a zip file. So first there's one zip file, you have to extract a whole bunch of part files, and you have to extract the part files, so you have to have an app that can do that. Um, I use was it RAR? What the hell is it? Uh, something Pro. Oh, Easy on RAR or Pro. I think there's free ones too. Um, I don't need Google Play games. Uh, so here's PPSSPP. I got. Uh, so this video is basically about uh, Ghost of Sparta running full speed. And I'm going to show you all these games, except for the ones. There's certain ones in this list that don't work uh, at all or are just not playable because of bugs. Uh, Sega Rally has black. Uh, the ground is black and you can't see where you're going. Coded Arms has some weird glitches on the screen that cover the whole entire screen, which to me makes it unplayable. Uh, what else? Third Birthday always crashes on me. So other people say that they have it fine. You know, they, they have no problems, with, but it always crashes on me. I'll have to try it again, because I had changed my settings quite a bit. Uh, resistance, I wouldn't try playing. Um, so, yeah, there you go. But it will launch. Um, also, if you were wondering, Arctic, uh, blah, 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 MotorStorm Arctic Edge will not work. It gets to a loading screen and gets stuck. Um... And then you have to reboot the whole emulator or whatever. So here's my settings. So we have, uh, I'll, I'll go in a little bit more so you can see better. So I have mode buffered rendering. Frame skipping is actually set to five, but I have auto frame skip set. So, you know, if, it's, if five is not necessary, it's not going to just completely skip five frames all the time. So it won't be, it'll be smooth. But if that extra frame skipping is needed, it will be used, and that's about it. Um, so most of the part, most of the times, it's smooth. So I have the uh, God of War fix on, prevent frames per second from exceeding 60 frames. Uh, let's see, post processing shader I have off. Uh, small display is not on. Stretch to display is not on. It already really does that, so it's not really necessary. Uh, there's we don't have KitKat, so we wouldn't use immersive mode. Uh, rendering resolution is one times PSP. Mit mapping is on. Hardware transform is on. Software skinning is on. Ver that's that kind of speeds things up. But apparently, may slow things down. I haven't really had that be a problem. Uh, vertex cache is on. Lazy texture caching is on. Retain change textures. Uh, speed up memory hog. This thing has a good amount of memory. I wouldn't be worried about it. It's on. Low quality spleens, lines, and busier curves. Speed up is on. Upscale level is off. Um, you don't need to worry about deposturize. That's uh, for upscaling. <laughs> so it's not needed. Uh, anastropic filtering is off. Texture filter is set to auto. Timer hack is on. Disable alphas test is on. Disable stencil test and always depth right is off. Texture cord speed hack is on. Anything that says speed on it is basically on. Um, I can, oh, there's nothing else except software rendering. Don't bother. <laughs> Uh, audio I have you know enabled and I have everything stock here uh, system fast memory on multi-threaded on I turned off IO on thread um, atomic audio locks it off um, da, 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 da. most of this stuff is stock yeah PSP model is 1000 
Um, and that's, I think, really it. And that seems to be, give me the best performance in game. So I'm going to back out of this a little bit just because it gets too blurry sometimes when you're too close. So hopefully you can... That should be good enough. Uh, so now I can do this with the controller. Uh, select God of War. Ghost of Sparta. Uh, God of War Chains of Olympus is a little slower. This seems to be easier to run. Um, yeah, so it's easier to run. What was I going to say? Yeah, but uh, Chains of Olympus still slows down a bit, but it's playable. This is probably the best experience. Uh, I actually have a, um, a save state going here. A lot of times it'll start off kind of like chuggy a little. And the frame rate is not perfect because, like I said, I have uh, frame skipping kind of high. Uh, death gate. Alright. So. Okay, temple of the... Okay, so I can't do anything there. Okay, so. I don't know what that's about, but as you see, I'm running around, blah, blah, blah. Um... What's this? Oh, that's to save. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, it's not like uh, Chains of Olympus. A little different with the saving. Same kind of idea, it's just the, the look of what you have to go to is different. You have to be so rough, Kratos. There you go. Uh-oh, time to fight. Time for some action scenes. And you may hear a little bit of audio issues, but that's very little. And, uh... I don't know. For the most part, it's fully playable. It's just, like I said, the, the first part is the dropping frames, and also there's some bloom issues. Uh, but everything seems to look alright. It may depend on your, your preference or whatever. Or no, it always does, but no, it actually depends on my preference. And <laughs> no, you have to listen to me. That sounds funny. It depends on your preference. Oh, I always thought it depended on mine. You have to listen to me. So yeah, I'm gonna try to raise the volume a bit, and I'll shut up. Uh, not too loud. Okay. So, okay, I go. Alright. Jump into sloped thingies. Oh! Ooh. Um. Yeah. I said I would shut up. 